walls. The Harris campaign promises a $25,000 down payment assistance for first time home buyers and a $10,000 tax credit. They also promise to build 3 million new homes. Where are you building these homes and won't handing out that kind of money just drive up prices higher? No, it's Two not minutes. handing out. We have, first, let me say this, this issue of housing, and I think those of you listening on this, the problem we've had is that we've got a lot of folks that see housing as another commodity. It can be bought up, it can be shifted, it can be moved around. Those are not folks living in those houses. Those of you listening tonight, that house is a big deal. I bought and owned one house in my life. My mom still lives in the house where I was. And when I think of a house, I'm thinking of Christmas services after midnight mass where you go with your family. We need to make it more affordable. And one of the things, as I said, this program that the vice president is, is uh, pushing forward and bringing a new way of approaching this is something we're doing in Minnesota from that lead. We in the state invested in making sure our housing was the biggest investment that we'd ever made in housing. It starts to make it easier. We cut some of the red tape. Local folks, look, we can't do it at the federal level, but local folks make it easier to build those homes. And then that down payment assistance. I can tell all of you out there, one of the, certainly for me, using the GI Bill was one thing, but a veteran's home loan, the big thing about a veteran's home loan is you don't have to pay the down payment. Those are things that make it there. Now, look, you're going to pay it back and you're going to pay your mortgage. Those are things that we know in the long run, the appreciated value, the generational wealth that's created from it. And I will give Minneapolis an example. Minneapolis is the one city where we've seen the lowest inflation rates. We've seen a 12 percent increase in stock because we have put some of these things in and we're implementing a state program to make sure we give some of that down payment assistance. We get it back from people because here's what we know. People with stable housing end up with stable jobs. People with stable housing have their kids able to be able to get to school. All of those things in the long run end up saving our money. And that's the thing that I think we should be able to find some common ground in, but we can't blame uh, immigrants for the only reason. That's not the case that's happening in many cities. The fact of the matter is, is that we don't have enough naturally affording, uh, uh, affordable housing, but we can make sure that the government's there to help kickstart it, create that, create that uh, base. Governor, your time is 